Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here for layout two with my January 2021 counterfeit kit challenge kit. Yesterday's video or the first layout took too long in my mind's eye for editing. So I've decided to go back to what I have been doing recently and that is showing you the products that I have and then I will come back and show you what I have created. With this kit, because the original kit that I pulled in to use the original paper kit wasn't very large, it was a an Echo Park paper pack, and I did add some cardstock to it. I'm doing my double page layouts first because I find with those, it takes a little bit more paper, a little bit more thought process in how you cut things to make it extend out. With the single page photos I can use scraps a ton add some six by six papers it's not a big deal so I can make those stretch really far but the 12 by 12 is a bit harder so I'm starting with a page map sketch from January 2020 and it is this double page sketch here and you can see well I don't know that you can see so well I'll show you a close-up of the sketch it's got one two three four five six seven photos there and I've pulled out a handful of photos I don't know exactly how many um, but we'll see to go with this I have pulled in a ton of stuff I have pulled these stickers that I did not use in my first layout these are old creative imagination I have pulled out these that were the target dollar spot that I did some stamping on I didn't I left those out I didn't stamp those uh, to see if I wanted to do anything differently with them and I left those blank as well in case I wanted to make them into like little tabs or something at the top so yeah those are what I have created so far. Uh, pull those to use. Pull these Jenny Bolin stickers to use. Pull these from Felic or Freckled Fawn. Pull the Brads from Bo Bunny. Here is my uh, title, Christmas Eve Shenanigans. And I use two different fonts to do that. I have one tag left on this one tag sticker from tumblewee tumblebees.com uh, I plan to use several of these stickers and I also because I was worried that the paper pad would not the paper stack that I pulled in would not last long enough I did pull in this Echo Park warm and cozy and it is from 2020 so it is a new release from last year and it has a lot of great fall winter type designs and it repeats itself quite a bit there it says 48 double-sided papers but I think it repeats itself three times two or three times plenty of paper to play with I did pull out a couple of sheets to work with I pulled these two and that's the back side of those and I pulled in a couple of cut, a, cut apart pieces and I did pull in some washi tape to use. This is the red one. And then of course I have my stack of photos here and then the background papers that I pulled. I pulled in the green cardstock as well as the uh, X paper that the back side is the cut aparts. I don't foresee myself using all of those we'll see and then I pulled out this floral and the back side of it is that snowflake paper this is where I am starting as far as paper goes and I will build from there and add to if I need to but yeah here's where I'm starting I'm going to show you a close-up of the sketch and I will be back with the layout in just a second Okay friends, I'm done. This is the sketch that I completed and I will have shown you a close-up of that. I used a ton of product. Let me get down here to the paper scraps. I don't have a, a whole lot, but I do. So I cut off a portion of this paper um, and it does have the cut aparts on the background. I wasn't really interested in using the larger cut aparts, so that's okay. That works for me. The floral paper, of course, I have some of that left over because I used a small amount and I used these two that I had previously pulled out. I added an additional six by six paper and then I used the back side. I had previously used this and I used the back side of that and then one of my pocket page cards I did not use. So that will go back up here with my others. 
As far as washies, I did use the red and I added the silver in as well. My alphabets, I used all three sets that I have. The red, the silver, and the black. I did use these glittery gems. I used several brads. I used these cork stickers with the silver embossing. I used quite a few stickers from here. I used one of the stickers from here. I used several of the uh, circles from here that I had stamped the holly leaves on. I used several stickers from here. And I used the last sticker from here. So this can go into my empties for the month. Yay! So let me move the layout over. And here is my layout. I have to be a little bit careful because I also used my liquid pearl uh, dimensional silver pearl drops to create some faux enamel dots. So I really like how this turned out. Did not turn out exactly like the sketch, but that's okay. Um, if you work with sketches, you know they are basically a starting point, a jump off point. So here you can see I used that red washi tape across the top and then this silver washi tape on top. And then I have back behind here, I border cut that one red paper and then I put a little sliver of that diagonal stripe back here. Layered up stickers and uh, there's one of those gems, a silver brad, one of the arrow stickers. Used another of those diagonal stripe six by six pieces there. Ran my tape all the way across there and that's where I used that uh, additional six by six paper. I used a couple of stickers here in the middle and put the word fun. Used those, use the liquid pearl drops, used another of the cork, uh, more brads here, and another gemstone, layered up stickers here. Then on this page, you can see, I put my title across the top, Christmas Eve Shenanigans. And that turned out pretty fun. And I ran that washi tape all the way uh, over the edge to the back. There's that floral paper there and then I used a little sliver of the back side of the paper that I had previously used with the, the greenery and the pine cones. The back side was this. So I just filled that space there. Used one of the pocket page cards here, another sliver of the 6x6 six six paper, another piece of that red paper, and another little leftover bit of washi, the silver washi tape. Another sticker here, another brad, layered stickers, liquid pearl drops, a cork piece, and a gemstone. So all of my photos got put down. Um, I've left myself room right down here to do some journaling about the events that were going on throughout the day. Just, you know, another Christmas layout. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't planning to do <laughs> Christmas layouts, but it turns out I did them. So yeah, it worked out well. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you being here and to all of my new subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate your support and I hope my videos inspire you to get more of your stash used. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.